I'm saving Christmas! All right, which one of you gave a little kid explosives? It is that time of the year when Gotham is full of festive glow, with its skyline covered in snow and the sound of carols blowing in the wind. Yes, it is almost Christmas and the city appears to be drowning in holiday spirit. However, do not forget this is Gotham, and there's always more than what meets the eye. Today, we will meet Damon Wayne, the young and aspiring superhero in his tweens. The movie Merry Little Batman, freshly released on Amazon Prime, has a new take on the Bat family. We witness young Lil Damon donning the cape and cowl with a fresh twist to protect Gotham from those who threaten to steal the joy of Christmas. It would be a mistake to skip this episode as Merry Little Batman is more than just a standalone adventure. It is a piece of the amazing upcoming series of the Bat Family. So without further ado, let's buckle up and explore this holiday special. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Daring Damien and Brooding Bruce Merry Little Batman starts with Damien Wayne, the 8-year-old son of Batman. It is clear Damien has a superhero DNA. He is wearing a makeshift cape and cowl with a paper bag complete with a bat ear on his head. However, do not mistake this for just a role-playing game that every other kid does. According to Damien, he is training to become the next Batman. This is exactly what Gotham needs, an 8-year-old Batman. No kidding, because according to Bruce, there is no need for a Batman or any other superhero anymore. Gotham has been completely wiped clean of all the villains and their crimes. Bruce has given up his bat life and every other dangerous adventure. Since becoming a father, Bruce Wayne's dark and fearless heart has turned pretty much into Marshmallow, and candy floss. He wants Damon never to don the bat costume as he deeply cares for his little boy. On the other hand, Damon is a master of mischief and can't keep out of trouble no matter what Bruce and Alfred do to keep him safe. Christmas came early. Our tween hero is now upset that he must take off his little suit at the breakfast table and become plain and simple Damien. However, Daddy Wayne gives him an early present. It isn't a razor-lined bat gauntlet, bat grappling gun, or even bat ice skates, which is everything from Damien's list to Santa. The present is something no future Batman can go without. It is Damien's very own Batman utility belt, and our boy can't keep his excitement in check. A call out of the blue. Soon the bat phone rings, which means there's a crime happening in Gotham and Bruce needs to be there. Upon knowing this, Damien is the happiest, thinking it is time to step into Batman's shoes. He even tries to change his voice and talk like Batman, calling it a Christmas miracle. Turns out it's the Justice League on the call, and there's unusual weather trouble in Nova Scotia. Since no other superhero is available, Bruce has to suit up and take care of business. Did I mention Bruce has a beard now? Yeah, and he likes it. I'd like to see how bizarre it looks in live action movies. Nevertheless, as he prepares to bat jet, he notices something rumbling in the luggage. Yep, you've guessed it, it's Damien the Paper Bag Batman. Bruce clearly refuses to let him tag along and even takes back his utility belt. Poor Damien is heartbroken and quietly moves back to the mansion. Home Alone on Christmas Batman is stuck in a blizzard where his jet crashes. Remember the SOS call on the bat phone? Turns out it wasn't the Justice League, but someone unknown. Who would want Batman to be stuck in the middle of nowhere? We'll soon find out. Back at the Wayne Mansion, poor Alfred was tricked into running to the supermarket by our strategic little Junior Wayne. With no one to supervise, Damien is having the time of his life. I mean, training rigorously to earn back his utility belt with Bruce and Alfred gone, all we have is an unsupervised billionaire mansion which attracts the attention of two burglars and they make their way to break into this easy money robbery. However, little did they know, the protector of the night who eats his greens and sleeps on time has kept an eye on them. What comes next is straight out of the Home Alone series, so Kevin McAllister, I mean Damien, sets out to safeguard his home sweet home by setting up traps and using his smarts. He whoops their ass really well until one of them grabs his utility belt and they disappear into thin air. Here comes the little Batman. Damien Wayne is no ordinary 8-year-old kid, he is the son of the Dark Knight and he proves it. With his most priceless possession now snatched away from him, Damien gears up in the most unexpected way possible to get it back. He breaks into the Batcave with such precision it almost feels like he has done this before. Once inside a Batcave and once he stops being flabbergasted, he shifts his focus back to the task at hand. Damien finds his suit with his name on it. Looks like it really is a Christmas miracle for this lad. He wastes no time switching his paper bag cow for the most high-tech bat suit ever built. After all, Bruce had hoped for his son to inherit his legacy someday. Now here's the best part. The suit comes with a Jarvis, like an artificial intelligent assistant called the Bat Dad. This Bat Dad has Bruce's personality and can assist Damien like the Bruce would have. 
Just like that, Damon's dream of becoming Batman is now a reality. Hunt for the belt, unlike Donkey Kong. The burglars reached their hideout after all the good Christmas-style beating by the tiny bat kid. Since they've lost all the loot from the night, both are terrified to face the boss. Soon a mad laugh breaks the silence and enters the Clown Prince. Oh yeah, we have the Joker taking the driver's seat of the villain mobile. He is furious to know about their failure, but is super excited to see the little Batman. Upon seeing the utility belt and the mayhem caused by Damon to take it back, an evil idea comes to his head. This is where he reveals that it was Joker and his gang of villains who tricked Batsy into thinking that Gotham was free of crime. On the other side of the city, little Batman is rolling towards Gotham in his bat bike. He has no clue about the trap he is walking into. Little Batsy puts his brain together and concludes that Santa Claus is the only one with mass surveillance capabilities, and so he walks straight into the mall to ask for Santa's help. However, Santa and his helper are actually Bane and Poison Ivy in disguise, and Damon is gonna find out the hard way. He confronts the villains and wrecks havoc in the city. Damon destroys half the city, including Gotham City's massive Christmas tree, in his attempt to get his belt back. Joker's plan worked and Christmas was ruined for half the city. Now here's the worst part, he still didn't get his belt back. Damon finally understands what it takes to be a real superhero. Back in the icy mountains of Nova Scotia, Batman crosses paths with Mr. Freeze, who reveals that it was Joker and his gang's plan to get Batsy out of Gotham so they can steal Christmas. Batman goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with his ice cube so he can go home and fix things. Who let the penguin out? Upset and heartbroken, Damon tried looking for his priceless belt all over the city with no luck. While quietly sitting in a Gotham Zoo, he notices his utility belt atop an icy hill inside a penguin cage. Little Batman has yet to master his strategic skills cause he just walked right into a trap. Damon falls straight into a shady tunnel where he comes across the penguin. Cobblepot reveals their master plan and starts attacking him. All his training is proving to be fruitful as he's beating the penguin in his own game. Finally, as always, Cobblepot tries to escape on a parade balloon with a utility belt, but this villain is forgetting something. Damien might be tiny, but he is still Batman. He is like a young ninja with the courage of an old one. Damien does everything he can to chase Penguin's floating balloon, but fails, and once again, he destroys the entire city. However, this was simply a distraction. The real crime was already taking place elsewhere in Gotham. The villains were stealing all the presents from the homes of Gotham City, which means there won't be any Christmas to celebrate. Later, Damon is captured by the villains and offered a place on their team because he thinks Damon's level of persistence and his knack for destroying everything around him just to get what he wants are all the qualities of a supervillain. But Damon, the son of the Dark Knight, isn't the one to align with a crown prince and his team of baddies. He escapes their capture and does everything he can to get back Christmas. Getting Back Christmas It's a four against one battle, actually he is just half if you ask me. Joker uses all his tricks to catch the little Batman, but Damon isn't just little, he is a little too fast for Joker. But in an unfortunate moment, Damon is cornered by all of them together. And just when they're about to finish the battle, they're interrupted by a dark and terrifying shadow. Out of nowhere, a wounded Mr. Freeze drops to the floor, a tall dark shadow appears beside Damon, Batman has arrived and shit is about to get real. The father-son duo gives these baddies a run for their money. Damien finally shows his crime-fighting skills to his dad and Bruce couldn't be more proud. Bruce is so impressed that he gives Damien his own utility belt to finish this battle. The Batman then defeats the villains and heads out to the city to return everyone's presents. Basically, the Bat family brought back the stolen Christmas. Marvelous Review Very Little Batman looks like a comic book that has been brought to life. It has adorable comic book style art that looks great on the screen. Imagine a Batman multiverse where every cartoonist from the New Yorker dares his version of Gotham. Very Little Batman captures this vision stunningly. Led by Mike Roth, known for regular show, this project is a passion-filled journey into a Dark Knight universe that is both action-packed and sincerely sweet. The fun of the show lies in discovering how each Batman rogues gallery villain is uniquely reimagined in this world. Very Little Batman showcases excellent voice casting. Jonas Kibrib, soon to be working in Pixar's upcoming 2025 film Elio, delivers a great performance as Damon Wayne. Very well balanced innocence without coming across as bratty. Luke Wilson's gentle voice mixed with a bulky drawn Batman gives effortless humor, making his helicopter dad persona adorable. However, David Hornsby's portrayal of the Joker is a bit of a miscast, which is what I personally feel. 
The movie's best part is the bond between Damon and Bruce. Writer Morgan Evans has penned down a heartwarming story, Coming of Bad Age. The story focuses on becoming a hero, finding one's true identity, and being grateful to one's parents. Merry Little Batman takes some serious inspiration from the first two Home Alone movies, which turned out perfectly in Damon's character development. Further, as a father, Bruce learns the importance of letting his son spread his wings and fight crime. A brilliant twist in the movie is when Bruce's dark and brooding nature is replaced by a cute and overprotective dad. This is a twist that didn't happen in 85 years of Batman's existence. Overall, Merry Little Batman is an adorable holiday flick. It has humor in a fun animation style. The young and innocent Damien and the caring father Bruce are the cherry on top. It's a must-watch this holiday season. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!